audio was bad last time. <laughs> Video's gonna be bad this time. Sun's flying in. Hey guys, Ben Vic here, back with a vlog. Vlog time, vlog 51. 51, yeah, vlog 51, if you're counting the vlogs in numerical order. Um, let's do a vlog, it's time for a vlog. I've still got loads to review, I've done loads of reviews, it's something like 8 or 9 reviews in between these two blogs, uh, vlog this 51 and previous blog, vlog 50, um, something like nine, 8, 9 reviews and I've still got loads more to do but I can't, uh, I can't not do a vlog, you know, <laughs> uh, no matter how many reviews I stick in between, so it is a vlog time, uh, so yeah, time for a vlog, let's do a vlog, have I said vlog enough times in this vlog yet? I think so. Vaping on. Vaping on the Oceanus from Inokin. This is the iSub version. Um, interesting times, interesting times. This is the review that just went up. It, um, Inokin stepping up to the plate. Firstly, listening to everyone and, <laughs> and uh, making the 510 flush, which is good. Making it fit nice uh, big tanks, which is good. And then going with this brand new brand new battery, the 2700 battery. So um, credit to Inokin, you know, they've played it safe for a long time um, and I, th I think it's great that they've they've stepped up and done something a little bit different. I think they've definitely improved these coil heads, you know, tweaked them slightly, you know, not said anything, not put a version on it, but uh, I think they've slightly improved these. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, uh, there's, this is vaping, an absolute treat at 38 watts. Nice bit of ice cream man in there. Interesting thing, this Oceanus. Yeah, like I say, uh, it's pretty cool that they've stepped up with the new thing. I thought, uh, one slight concern is that people are going to be getting on top of this um, in the hope that they don't need to have a dual cell mod anymore because they'll be thinking... Um, What's a good example? Something like the Fu Chai. People thinking, oh, I, I don't need a big ba a big mod now because uh, 2700's battery life is going to be comparable to a two cell 18650 mod. Um, they're really not. They're really not. Uh, the battery life is a bit better than an 18650. You know, not not a, a gigantic leap. It's a bit better. So. Um, <laughs> You know, don't uh, don't run to the shops if you're doing that <laughs> for that reason. You know, the batteries the batteries are way safer for really low ohms in mechs, which is great. And the battery life is a bit better. It's a bit better, you know, so not crazy better. But the mod's pretty solid, you know. A lot of nice characteristics to this. I think it's well put together. I think it's nice in the hand. And, and, and I think it's phenomenal that what comes in the kit. You know, the Scion one comes with the RBA head two 2700 batteries not just one two which is i think it's great it's cool um and it's performing well and that an interesting choice with no tc on there as well no tc on the oceanus uh that's an interesting shout as well um but yes yes that is that um let's uh we've got time in our hands we're not as pushed as uh previous vlogs um, so let's get into some comments now. So we've got a bit of time, you know, not too many additional things to cover. So let's just uh, fly into the comments from the previous vlog. Um, Mark Todd, <laughs> Todd's eSig reviews, he always gets loads of thumbs up because it's Mark Todd. So um, he's always right at the top of the comments on every vlog I do. <laughs> um, so Mark Todd says uh, 8,000 orders for goon squonk pins <laughs> gone into Mod Maker. Um, all hoping that they get a free squonker. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, true, true that. Uh, if you do need a, a squonk pin for your Goon RDA or a range of other RDAs, um, modmaker.co.uk is the place to go. They they do do that there. And you literally just unscrew your old one, bosh that in. If it turns out to be too long, you just need to file that down a little bit. But um, yes, that was on here. That was on... Uh, this, Rick from uh, modmaker.co.uk and the Ideal Home Show, he, he made me a little squonker. Well, he made a squonker and then he gave it to me. Uh, so that was uh, awesome. I'm still loving using this all the time. Literally all, literally all the time. Um, so yes, I would like to see, it, I would like to see 
everyone jumping on board with because mech squonkers are huge right now and it'd be cool to see some and i know there already are a couple of 3d printed ones about be cool to see some 2700 uh mech squonkers that would be good i think very good um so yes that's that but yeah matt todd uh, <laughs> very funny indeed as always uh it's a funny guy um what else levi Parry Parsley says, uh, there has been so many times where I wanted a pack of, a pack of cigarettes and just said, nah. Um, yeah, well, it's a funny one, isn't it? You go around, you go through phases with vaping, I think. Um, and, and situations as well, you know, vaping is very situational. Some people, uh, sorry, smoking is very situational. Some people always used to have a cigarette after a meal. You know, and and that's the one time they still crave it. You know, even to this day after years of vaping, uh, some people, or when they go out on the raz, you know, that's when they they're so tempted to just have a cigarette like everyone else. Uh, and you go through phases like that. But I feel I felt a huge turning point for me was not when I lowered my nick. That I think that's a popular misconception. Uh, it was actually when I got really into like dessert flavors. Now that I'm just vaping all these custards and sticky toffee this and Lambuna that, you know, all these fancy flavours. Um, I feel like there's just no way I can psychologically go back to a, a, a t combusting tobacco cigarette. Like the flavour and the smell, I just can't. If vaping was literally banned and everyone was everyone's homes were raided for all their gear, all the vape shops shut, I couldn't go back to cigarettes now because the, the idea of the flavour is just so alien to, you know, sticky toffee pudding flavour, you know? So... It's funny, but yeah, hang in there, hang in there, go through phases. Uh, when you feel ready, if, you, if you're if you on a tobacco uh, still, uh, when you feel ready, try some desserts and stuff and just ease your way into that. I think my first actual flavour flavour uh, that wasn't a tobacco one or a menthol one was uh, Red Bull. <laughs> really looking back, a really cheesy Red Bull um, juice. But that was like, I like Red Bull, I like the flavour of Red Bull. And I was just like, yeah, this is this is this is quite good now. I'm quite enjoying this. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. And uh, Scotty Bugfoot says, what does Scotty say? Oh, congratulations on 500 vids and 50 vlogs. I've enjoyed every video you've done that I've seen. Oh, cheers, mate. Um, very cool. Uh, very cool indeed. Um, uh, Polly G says, Polly G says, uh, well done on the new Tesla product. We got to stop stupidity in its tracks. I still haven't seen an official, I think, I still haven't seen an official, uh, statement from Tesla about the bit turbo this was um this was this this uh, crazy scary series mech uh thing unregulated series thing uh which said on the bottom that you could do it to point 1 and it said start a kit on the box um the uh, the I haven't seen an official statement from them about it in terms of ending it um but I think they've just without a statement they've quietly it stopped production, cancelled production, cancelled sales. So they might have had to bin 500 units. I know that like a thousand made it out into the market. So I'd, so I guess they're just doing it in, in a very calm way rather than an, an official statement for everyone to talk about. Um, but yes, fair play, whatever. I just don't, as long as you're not making any more and selling them and stuff, that's good. Um, uh, Schnibbler says, Blimey, that was exhausting just watching you. Uh, cracking chocolate blog, blog, vlog, Richard, keep it up. Uh, yeah, it was a bit intense, that last vlog. There's just too many things. We'll talk about that a bit later, the amount of things are coming in and stuff and plans going forward. But, um, yeah, yeah, that was intense, that last vlog. I'm hoping this one is a bit more dialed back. I'm sorry about my screen position to the camera. Um, never mind it. A proper reviewer would uh, do a, like a cut here, move the camera around, you know, and all that. But um, when you get past this point in the thing, you go back to those wonky tiles. <laughs> it's only blue into this edge here, uh, so I can't, I can't do that. Uh, I have to think about it. I have to think about what my options are. Um, but yes, yes, it was intense that last vlog, and this one. Th I'm hoping this one's a bit more just chilled out, chatting. I don't know what you want. I've never known. The day you find out what people want you to do on YouTube is the day you should probably pack it up and just write a book. 
Um, but yes, I don't know about any of that. Um, uh, loads of people said reference mod as well, by the way. The uh, DNA75 reference mod. Uh, I couldn't remember the word in the last vlog. Um, it's, a, it's a super. DNA75C. It's it's a super board. It really is a super board. And I've just started messing around with the software as well. But I'm actually going to send it on that reference mod. I'm actually going to send it on to uh, a mod maker who's a friend of mine. Um, uh I just I don't know so he can strip it apart and maybe do something with the board I don't know he's already done one he's already done a mod anyway um, uh, Dominic Pelosi says have to agree with you sitting in my hotel in Turkey vaping killer custard and using a goon on top with my M vape squonker awesome goon squonking M vape squonker killer custard yes yes spot on spot on that's just that's an awesome setup awesome setup. Um, the goon's great. Uh, if 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 you want some take home from fifty one vlogs um, that I've done, uh, it's probably the only take home you're going to get is goon's good, isn't it? <laughs> um, what else we got? We got Mark Elliott says, "Bro, do you even vape?" And I said, "Only on Thursdays." Um, uh, oh, um, John Gardner said, "Great vlog as always, Richard. Where did you get your velocity drip tip from?" Womp womp. Um, I believe if you Google Bigs Tips, they're the guys to see on the velocity uh, tips. Simply because the velocity has a screw in. Looking around for my velocity now. I don't need to look around for it. Uh, you can imagine with your mind. Um, just Google Bigs Tips. Uh, they're the place to go for velocity tips. The reason is that it, you screw on a velocity, um, and so it has the threading has. To, you need metal threading on your drip tip, so it has to be good. And uh, Bigs Tips is the place to go for. Well, that's where it was from anyway, and that's where I'd say check out for a velocity tip. Uh, Bigs Tips. Um, it, I didn't actually buy it from Bigs Tips. Um, it was a. It was, it was a gift. Um, I not from Bigs Tips. <laughs> It was just, I randomly got sent one uh, in a, a beautiful moment of love. Um, Korgeth says, a funny thing about Hangson, uh, we covered the Hangson this, the Hangson this, Genesis. Hangson Genesis, we covered this, and I said they sent me some of their god awful juice, um, etc., in the previous vlog. So, uh, Kogif says, funny thing about Hangson, I agree, their liquid is pretty bad, but the concentrates they produce are great. They make some absolutely awesome flavour concentrates. They need a good mixologist to make up some good recipes with the flavours they produce. Um, I would be, it would be very easy to make some banging juices. Uh, just for example, the Hangson banana is the best banana concentrate I have. And the pineapple is amazing, blueberry is very good. So there you go. So um, apparently, and I didn't know that either, Hangson makes some fantastic flavour concentrates if you mix your own juice. So check it out. Don't be put off by the name. Um, yeah, and that's fair. And I believe that. I believe that that would be, be spot on that. Um, so there you go. And yes, they do. The, re the only problem with the Hangson juice, I think, the main problem with the Hangson juice is it's out of date and they've not updated any of the flavours. It should be higher VG, at least 60 VG. Um, take it, just take it down a notch. Take it down a notch. It's still... Those juices, those Hangson juices, those original ones, they were... Uh, they, they, the aim of those juices was to taste, to get some damn flavour out of a CE4. Um uh, well, those days are gone now. <laughs> yeah, flavor you can get. You know, you don't need much flavor now, do you? You know. Um, Schnibbler says happy fiftieth. Uh, he also says, "Was that the Nautilus Mini on top of the DNA seventy five? Uh, no, it was the original Nautilus, uh, which my wife still uses a lot. Um, it's the original Nautilus, uh, but with um, a Nautilus." mini coil in because the coils are compatible all the all the Nautilus coils cross compatible and apparently the 0 0.7 Nautilus coil is very good as well um, yeah it's as good as it's as good as mouth to lung clear amizer you're going to get that you know one point was it 1.6 ohm Nautilus coil vape you know you get some duds you get some duds um, but on the whole if you buy a pack of five you'll be happy um, one more comment <laughs> Um, 
Oh, Douglas Foxworth Young says, Your idea for the live, shows so live show sounds really good. Something I would definitely be interested in watching. Uh, so in the previous... Just have a little scroll. Um, in the previous uh, vlog, I talked about live shows. Everyone's doing these live vlogs now, aren't they? Uh, the way I'm doing this would have been better suited to a live, you know, just rambling on. Um, but... Uh, Yes, a lot of people doing these live vlogs now, um, and I sort of have had my concerns and stuff. Um, however, I did say I would r like to do a live show, but just not the vlog, um, a live thing, you know, video. Uh, so yes, yeah, so that's still still a definite possibility. Um, it's a definite option. I need to find a time slot, and I don't know. It, it's a whole thing. But the other video I want to make... Um, well, we're just shooting the shit um, for 16 minutes. Uh, another video I want to make is a fac. Yeah, a fac. Um, a frequently asked questions video. Uh, because I, I get asked the same questions frequently. And I think it'd be really cool to direct someone to a video that has all the answers on. All the common answers on one video. So I've sort of thinking about doing one of them. I don't know if you think that's a good idea or not. Uh, again, not a vlog, not live, just a video that's a FAQ. I don't know if that's... It's such a fine line between how helpful you can be and entertaining and still keep up with all the nonsense you have to keep up with as a reviewer. Um, I will come back to that later as well. Um, so that anyway, so there's some comments. Please leave a comment below. Um, if uh, if you if you've got a question that you think would be great for a frequently asked question, put it in the put it in the comments. If you know if this is if you think it's a stupid question you've always wanted to ask me, put it in the comments or a really complicated interesting question. Put it in the comments. Any questions? Uh, the ones that are freq that ones that I get asked frequently will definitely appear in this video if if I get round to making it. You know. Uh, okay, so previously reviewed items. Or oh, do what do you want first? Do you want new stuff? You're probably here for the new stuff. All right, we'll do. It's not always new stuff. The way with <laughs> the slow nature of my uh, my reviews, I got an email from a, a manufacturer saying you, you'd be more successful if you sped up with your um, getting your videos out. That's quite funny. Um, I mean, they're not wrong in a way, but uh, I just need I need to I need. To, to test them, you know, I need time to test them, and it's not the only thing I've got. I've got to be queuing, you know, uh, got to be fair to the queue, you know. So, um, but yeah, that was funny. What was I talking about? I can't remember. Uh, so new stuff. Let's <laughs> just. Oh yeah, it's new stuff, but it's not actually all new stuff. A lot of it's just unreviewed stuff. It's the stuff coming up for review. It's the queue. I'm showing you the queue. Gosh. Ah. <sighs> Uh, so, the first thing, this will definitely be the next review. This will definitely be the next review. This. The iJoy El Capitan 20, uh, what's it called? Uh, PD270. The iJoy Captain PD270. I'm going to do an Is It All That video because I think there's about 30 reviews of this already on the YouTubes. But none there where the person has actually had it for a long time and just relaxed on it and chilled on it and vaped it a lot and just seen what well, seen if it's really any good in that um so two it's a dual 2700 mod from uh, iJoy comes with this beautiful uh just seeing if there's any juice on here comes with this beautiful uh faux carbon fiber finish on it um nice big square in the hand uh and yeah so dual 2700 so uh a bit of battery life in here and a bit of amperage. Huh? There we go. And that's the RDA that came with the mech that I'll talk about in a bit. Um, yeah. Uh, that's that. Um, yeah, so that's next. That's coming next. That's coming next. Um, I also got this. I should have reviewed this by now, but there's a really good reason why I haven't. Um, <laughs> this is the, or is it? it? It may or may not be called the Fusion 2 from Viva Quita. Uh, they, on their website, right, they have two 
mods that look completely different, and they're both called the Fusion 2. Uh, so I'm waiting to find out exactly what this one is called. <laughs> 40 watts, 0.25, sort of an all-in-one thing, sideways all-in-one thing. I think it's quite natty, I think it's quite cool screen on top. Probably showed you this in three vlogs by now, because I've had it so long. But I'm trying to find out, I don't want to do a video, call it the wrong thing. Uh, I'm just trying to find, uh, this, I think, What's going to happen is that's going to be called the Fusion 2 Mini. Hmm? Let's Well, let's wait and see. Uh, so that's coming up. Um, pretty cool. You don't see a lot of those all-in-ones that come with a 0.25 coil that's a bit cloudy. They're usually more dialed back. However, that's also a negative for this. <laughs> we'll get there when we get there, review-wise. Um, what else? What else? Uh, a few letters work my way down the list. Q-Box. Q-Box. Cubox from Joytech. I did a quick look on the QAIO. This is the Cubox. This is the bigger one. Uh, the bigger one. Same tank, uh, but the bigger mod. Bigger mod. I don't know. Maybe a quick look on that as well because there's not much to it. One, two, three. Uh, you've got your battery indicator on top there, like that. Gosh. Um, so yeah, so battery indicator on there. So bigger battery life than the. Uh, tube version, the QAIO, uh, charging up here, um, very comfy, very small, very natty, um, tiny, tiny little thing, and uh, it's got this tank, which is not a bad tank um, at all, a bit, it's a bit lungy though, I think uh, they should be all mouth to lung, those sort of things, um, that's that, so the Q box, uh, oh, that needs a line through it, done that, excuse me, um, X Taste Nano. I've got the X Taste Nano to do as well. Remember the X Taste uh, X250. Is that what it's called? X250. Something like that, wasn't it? Uh, that big, big red one. It was like that. Ah, this is the X Taste Nano. Look at that. It's got the screen flippy thing. Have I sh ever showed you this before? It's got the screen flippy thing. Um, Ice Cream Man in here as well. Uh, this is the Hurricane Junior on top of here. Comes with a tank, but the fact that I'm using the Hurricane Junior on top probably tells you a story <laughs> that you're going to hear in that review. Um, yeah, really, build quality. Build quality off the chart with this. Really nice. Got like a, um, like a metallic-y power-coated finish type thing. Um, really cool. And a fancy board. Loads, loads going on on the screen. Uh, loads of options. Um, now then. There we go, let's turn it off. There we go. Uh, so, uh, very small, very nice, super well built, really hard feeling. Um, nice board, nice board, all that stuff. Um, they're, they're one of these untapped resources, X-Taste. They're going to smash it one day because um, they can really build the stuff well. They always build the stuff well. Um, yeah, but the, so, so that's a cool dinky mod. That's a dinky mod. Um, but it won't get any traction because they haven't had that breakthrough item yet or that major endorsement from a, a major place um so there's that um what else we got remix remix i shouldn't have shouted that like that remix uh the joytech pro car remix um that's this that's this now it's not what you think it is. It's not the Procore Ares sub tank, but it is the same tank. But now it's the this is the RTA version. This is the RTA and RDA version. It can be an RTA or an RDA. <laughs> Putting this through its paces at the moment. Um, pretty good though. Pretty good. I've got to tell you, the second building here now. Pretty good that. Um, the first build was great. It's annoying when you're testing RTAs and the first build's ace, you still got to rip it out. Um, but yeah, that's on the second build now, and it's great. It's really good, actually. The sub tank, I don't think I gave the sub tank enough credit in the reviews, actually. It's actually really good. Um, and the RTA is very good as well, so far. Let's stay tuned for the review. Um, yeah, but the thing is with these big sub tanks now, uh, these 25mm tanks, is, they do lend themselves to a much better. RBA head, um, which is the same with the Scion, because when you get the um, Oceanus, it comes with an RBA deck for the Scion, look, velocity posts, because they're so much bigger now, these, these coil heads are so crazy big, uh, 
they actually fit in good RBA heads now, um, which is a thing, which is a thing because my advice always used to be, if you really want to build some, get yourself a little cheap RTA because an RTA will always be so much easier to work with and vape better than a sub tank, but with an RBA cro crowbarred in. Um, so we're getting there with that stuff. That's cool. Um, I don't think there's a cross compatible element with that though. Um, still working on that, but yeah, and it comes with an RDA, and I haven't tested the RDA element of it yet either. Um, da -da -ba -da -da -ba 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 -ba. Right, that's all I'm going to show you. That's all I'm going to show you, especially because I've really there's chilled out and there's laid back, isn't there? And I think I've slightly strayed over to the laid back side of this vlog. Um, yeah, so let's crack on. Uh, previously reviewed items. Oh, we talked about the Oceanus already. I think it's funky. Um, I think it's very good. I think Inakin have made some big improvements on this. I think they've cheekily improved the coil heads as well. Uh, but uh, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty funky. Um, but don't be buying it thinking the battery life is going to be off the chart because it's not. It's going to be a bit better. <laughs> okay. Um, so have that as your take home. Uh, so, previously reviewed, so we did that, we did the Serpent SMM, I stand by what I said in that, um, it's great, it's not my after long, but it's great, and it's good, um, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, Vaporous RDA from Otofo, now, that is this, um, I should already showed it you once already, but it's that, it's that RDA, fantastic RDA, uh, however, it does seem like they may have had some quality control issues, because several reviewers have received... Uh, their RDA with a wobbly post or a wo wobbly negative post or a wobbly a negative post that you can pull out but you can't tighten back in. Um, so, I mean, if you buy one, because it is great, I do recommend it. If you buy one and that's the case, I'm sure you can send it back, you know, or ask the vendor to open the box and check if it's all right before buying it or, I don't know, um, do something like that. But, yeah, it sounds like there's a con quality control issue there. So, be aware of that, um, and obviously my two aren't don't have a problem, so obviously I didn't report that in the review. That's that one. Um, the sinus sinus is still here as well. That is the sinus from Wismec. Um, really, really good. I mean, it's another eighteen six fifty regulated mod, but it's very small, very natty, big screen. It's got all the features, all the functions. Um, it's a definite option for you to check out if that's uh, if that's what you're wanting to get by. Then that is a definite contender in that field. Uh, but it's a bit overcrowded now that field, so I don't know. Yeah, but there's no wrong with it. There's no majorly wrong with it. It's all right. Um, there are a few quirks actually, but if you watch the review, you'll see them. Um, so that's that. What else have we looked at? We looked at this. We looked at this. You know, what? another video I want to make, and again. I don't know if this is, obviously it's not going to be a smash hit at the box office, but another video I want to make is how to get your mech mod firing, because it's happened to me several times in the past, so it must be happening to a lot of other vapors a lot of the time. You get a new mech, or you get a new RDA, and you put it on that mech, and for some reason, it's just not fi it just doesn't fire, and you don't know how to get it going, and it's a thing with mechs. Um, you know, and so I want to just do like a step by step on uh, setting up your mech, really. And because there's tricks, there's tricks that you learn over time with setting them up. Like, um, first thing you want to do is unattach everything on the top cap. I'm doing it now. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I'm thinking about doing a video that not necessarily for you guys subscribed, but just for people to search for. The, st the stressed out people uh, that that want to know why their mech isn't nothing's happening when they press the button, um, yeah, because yeah, oh well, I don't know, I'm thinking out loud too much, um, but that's that. But the, the, yes, the vape product are uh, the uh, Wonder Vape from Sigpet slash iJoy, uh, twenty seven hundred mech mod. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I don't like the rainbow sleeve. I'm trying to get hold of a better sleeve, uh, but the actual mod is solid. It shouldn't come with a black RDA, that's madness. Um, but yeah, so that's that. That's been reviewed. And what was the other thing? No, that's it. That's it. Uh, so that's the previously reviewed items. He's still here? I hope you're not still here.
because of the giveaway. Because there ain't one. <laughs> um, I'm knocking the giveaways on the head. Uh, it was pointed out to me, not directly, um, but in a, in a big conversation on the Ideal Ohm Show Facebook group about reviewers, the review scene, and all that, it was pointed out by someone and thumbed up by a lot of other people that um, the giveaways thing... And this was, I was taken aback. I was floored by this, to be honest. The giveaway thing is disingenuous because it's what you're really doing by doing a giveaway is appealing to to get more subs. It's a way of buying subscribers. That was that was this this guy's uh, point on it, and a lot of people agreed. It's like a way of buying subscribers doing a giveaway. So if you do such and such reviews and giveaway. Then you just you just sort of by offering some you know a little prize you know you're you're effectively you know enticing people in for the sake of subs and views. Um, I've never really taken that stance with uh, review. I can close this now. I've never I've genuinely never really taken that stance like uh, that mindset for giveaways. The reason I do giveaway, uh, the reason I did giveaways was because uh, I feel mild, mildly embarrassed about getting all this free stuff and I, I, it was like a thank you it was like a thank you to um subscribers um really you know and especially in the vlogs because i never advertise that there's a giveaway in the vlog you just there just is a giveaway in the vlog um yeah and they went on to say you know it's much better for reviewers to do a, a charity raffle and, uh, and things like that a, a nicer reviewer a good person a, a lovely person would do uh, a a charity raffle, not a giveaway, to buy subscribers, and um, fair enough. If that's if that's how people feel, you know, I, I, I'll 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 start collecting stuff up and I'll do a raffle. I guess um, I certainly don't want to be perceived as buying subscribers uh, at all. You know, that's not that's <laughs> no one no one watches my video. The, 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 do you know what the, the the mad thing about that mindset is? Check out, scroll down through my reviews that also have plus giveaway on. They don't have any more views than any of the ones that don't have giveaway on. Uh, is I've never seen a swell of I've never seen a swell of subscribers join, but I've I've never had a swell of subscribers join because I've just put up a giveaway. I never ever, honestly. Um, I, I don't think doing giveaways attracts new subscribers and viewers because the your people that watch your videos are your subs, and then. And then after that, it's people that search. And they're not searching for a giveaway. They're searching for a, a device because they want to see a review on a device. Uh, so I'd, uh, I've never seen a, an increase of subscribers due to doing giveaways. Um, so, yeah, so I, I'm not going to do giveaways. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save up my gear and do a charity raffle. Um, so do please, please stay tuned for the charity raffle. Please unsubscribe now if you were subscribed because of giveaways. Um, I'm sorry. It's... I'm not doing giveaways anymore. Also, you know, it was getting a bit um, tedious, sorting out the emails, doing the random, uh, posting it up, bagging it up, posting it up. So, I guess I'm not doing giveaways anymore. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm good. I'm as good as you are. Um, yeah, I'm not that on the head because I don't, I don't want to be seen that way. You know, I mean, it, it's bad enough just being... A, a vape leper or a vape reviewer as some people call them it's bad enough being seen as someone that uh, is on the the cadge for free crap all the time that's what that's how people see reviewers as on the on the on the beg on the beg for free stuff all the time that's the perception of reviewers um it's so it's bad enough being in people thinking that that, that is, to then get free stuff and then give it away for, to buy subscribers. So I just yeah, and, and that person wasn't being a dick. That was that was his mindset, and so were other people. Speaking of all that, uh, the, the uh, Ideal Amateur Facebook group. If you follow Facebook vaping on stuff on your Facebook, you've got to get on the Ideal Home Show group. It's super active, super fun. It's a right laugh, hand checks, topical debates, polls. It, honestly. Uh, you've heard that before, but it's a it's a truly awesome, and I'm very biased, I suppose I am. But even before I was on the Ideal Home Show, I always admired the group. The group is awesome, over three thousand active, you know, intelligent, articulate, funny vapors. Oh, it's, it's a great place to be. That Facebook group. So uh, check it out. Check out. 
just put it into your Facebook search bar, Ideal Home Show. Uh, the group's the group's banging. The group's awesome. Um, so yeah, so that's that. I suppose that's bad news. I'm sorry to put a downer on everything. Um, I was going to do an update on this. I was going to do an update on this, the 521 uh, Coil Master tab. Obviously, with the reviewing, do a lot of building, and I've been doing my building on here, and I've had no trouble at all. Um, I forgot to say in the review, uh, which is really annoying, because in the first two takes I did of that video, uh, I, I did mention it, and on the third take I forgot to mention it. This strip here is magnetic, and the idea is you can stick your coils on it. Stick your coils on it while you're working and scrab them. Cool, huh? No? Um, yeah, so I'm having no trouble with this. I think it's fantastic. It's weird looking. Uh, it's flawed. It's got some design flaws. Watch the video if you want. But uh, no, it's still going, still going strong. Still enjoying using it. Um, yeah, nice sturdy thing. Uh, so that's that. That's that. Um, what else? Oh, this. <laughs> Well, I bought these. I bought some of these. I've seen a few videos. I've seen a few uh, people talking about. It. I've seen them on Instagram and stuff like that. Um, they are what they are. They are what they are. Basically, what it is is if you've not seen them before, they're called Demon Killer Eight in One, and so these eight different coil types in a pack for like a tenner. Um, so I don't know how many coils that works out as. Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty. 36, 42, sort of like 50 coils, 50 coils, <laughs> bit of grim green mass there, uh, but yeah, you get like 50 coils for a tenner, and they're all like uh, Clapton coils, Fuse Clapton coils, Tiger coils, Flat Twisted coils, Alien Clapton coils, um, yeah, and I've been using them, I've been chucking them in stuff, uh, they're, qu they're quite shit, they're quite shit, but um, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. The only time it matters, <laughs> this, oh god, it's, it's the unsubscribe button is going to be red hot after this video. Um, the only time it matters is in a mech. Hello? The only time it matters what your coil's like is in a mech, where you need it to be fast ramp up, and low ohms, and still thick wire, and, and all that. You know, that's why, that's the beauty of mechs, that's the joy of mechs. Building for mechs is like it's an art, it's a skill, it's a passion, you know. But if you're sticking it on, I've got some in here. Can't remember which ones, Hive or something like that. I've got them in here, yeah. And the the resistance is quite high <laughs> for a fancy coil. Uh, it's all canthal, you know. But it don't matter because I just stick an extra volt on here, and they vapor away an absolute beastie treat. I've got some juice in here. I'm walking towards a massive dry hit. Monkey jizz. Monkey jizz. If you like banana, get yourself some monkey jizz. Vaping king. Just add nick. Um. Oh, oh, It's fine. What do you want? They're fine. So yeah, they're kind of rubbish. They're kind of rubbish coils, but they're very cheap. And yeah, just stick them in some, stick them in a regulated mod or a variable voltage mod. Just up the power a bit, and you're golden. You know, it's um, it's not a thing. It's not a thing. Uh, yeah. So that's them. They're not great, but they're cheap, and you, they go red when you hit the fire button. They really do. Um, <laughs> uh, so that's those. I, I don't know why I've got into that. Um, anyway, anyway, I want to really quickly wrap up now. Um, so, uh, what was I going to say? Yes, so, I've had too many products in for review. I've had too many products. And in the previous vlog, although, you know, it was great to show you all that stuff, I'm sure you will agree, a lot of it was dirge, you know? I don't know, all-in-one, loads of all-in-ones and stick, starter sticks and, uh, you know, things like that and stuff that no one cares about and stuff like that. Uh, I'm trying, and you won't see the repercussion of this for a few weeks down the line, but I'm trying to be way more selective with what I accept in for review. Um in hope that I'll have better stuff more consistently for you guys to watch uh, in terms of things you're genuinely interested in, good stuff and all that. Uh, I'm trying to be more picky. And when I run out of stuff, if I run out of stuff, that's when I can do these videos I want to do, like how to set up your mech and uh, frequently asked questions. And I, I want to do a build video for the Scion RBA because um, that will definitely be useful to someone, I'm sure. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, I'm, yeah, trimming down the amount of stuff I get so it's not all junk. Um, and so there's not wasted time and I'll, uh, yeah and so I'm not so busy so I can 
relax a bit and not panic my way through all this testing and reviews. So that's the plan. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm working on. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's that, isn't it? What well, was something else? I was going to talk about how I was going to talk about working out your vape as well but that might be a video of its own as well just because it, because of the penguin thing to be honest because of the penguin thing people sticking high vg dirty dirty desserts in in the penguins and then saying that they were rubbish with the top 0.25 coil i have i genuinely believe that there is a right juice a right coil a right tank a right mod for every single thing you know if you've got a 100 watt tank you need a dual cell 200 watt mod and you need good batteries and you need some juice that if you're doing it 100 watts you need some juice that isn't going to rip your throat out isn't too intense and isn't too high nick you know i feel like there's a set i feel like there's rules i feel like there's rules to this game uh, about what you use um so i wanted to talk about that a bit but i'm not gonna now um yeah Okay, so apologies for this vlog. <laughs> apologies in advance, advance of the video going up. But uh, I suppose if you're watching this apology, then sorry. It was a blether, wasn't it? I hope you, I hope you had a coffee or a, a beer with you or something, or you were at work, so you were getting paid to watch it anyway. Um, yeah, so a bit of a chit chat. Uh, I have got some cool stuff. I've got some stuff in the post as well. I've got a package at work. Uh, some more stuff to show you. Uh, so and stuff. No giveaway. Sorry. Saved five minutes, didn't it? Um, most of you, most of you have won. Uh, have won something anyway, because it's the same faces, isn't it? Uh, again and again on these comps. And I know most of you have probably won something. Because I've done over. I've done over 50 giveaways. Uh, the wife thinks I've done over two and a half grand of giveaways. So, because she's the one semi in charge of the giveaways. Um, so yeah, so uh, yeah. I mean, if if everyone's furious, I'll I'll do it again. <laughs> I'll bring them back. Uh, but I guess. But uh, yeah, probably easier to just anyway. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'm Vic. Uh, vape on and prosper. <laughs> See you later.